Book of Psalm, chapter 34, from verse 8. Psalm 34, verse 8. Test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saint. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lion may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days, keep your uh, tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Come from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against the those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord will hear them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the broken heart and save those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. To protect all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The force of righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeemed his servant. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. According to the scripture, I would like to share with you how God you know, used to this man David, he speak about the uh, fear of the Lord, fear. If you look at the verse 8, you can see one by one, verse 8, test and see the Lord is good. How many of you test? <laughs> Did you test the Lord is good? Yeah. Did you know that the Lord is good? Yeah. I know the Lord is good all the times. God is good all the times. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Yeah, God is your strong tower. He is your refuge. He is your shield. He is a, your fortress. He is your everything. Yeah, God is the one, your refuge. And verse 9. I like it. Fear the Lord, you his saint. For though you fear him, like what? Like nothing. Are you are the one to fear the Lord? Yes? yes. When you fear the Lord, you are what? Yes. You are like nothing. Yeah? The Bible says this. This is all truth. Psalm 34, verse 9. Fear the Lord, you his saint. For those who fear him, like nothing. Yeah? You don't, you know, uh, worry about your life. Why? you fear the Lord Almighty God. Thanks be to God. If you fear the Lord, don't fear Him like nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. What do you mean? Like nothing, you have plenty good things. Yeah? Those who fear God again, those who fear God, those who seek the Lord, can you seek His face? Seek his face. Why you come to the morning prayer meeting? You fear God. You seek the Lord. That is why you enjoy the good things on earth. You will enjoy the good things of God in the land. Yeah, verse 12, sorry, verse 11. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Yeah? David, he say, come, my little children. Come, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
uh, I pray unto God, Lord, all our the members of London Shepherd Church, also those who knows me, they may have a fear of the Lord. Can you say amen? amen? Yeah, if you have the fear of the Lord, it's good for you. Like nothing, and you have every good things. Those who seek the face of the Lord, yeah, they don't have any more some bad things. Only they have only good things. No, uh, um, you know, those who seek the law and lack no good thing. And those who love the life. How many of you love life, yeah? Mm -hmm. You love life and love good, love blessing. Choose life, choose blessing, choose, you know, this, the, the, the Jesus. Those who love life, yeah, you will see many good days, many good days. Have you seen them? Some man and woman loves life, loves Jesus. I think Queen Elizabeth, she loves life, yeah. She lived how long? 96 years? Yeah. Those who seek the Lord and loves life, long life. They enjoy the good days. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from evil speaking or speaking lies. Your tongue. Actually, this man, David, said, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. And suddenly he speak about your tongues. Let God deliver you, your tongues, from all the speaking lies and from evil, evil. Our tongue is important. Through your tongue, you will prosper and you live in the darkness also. Your tongue is important. And turn from evil and but do good. Yeah, do good. Overcome the evil with what? Good. With good. Yeah, it's very interesting. The scripture, overcome the evil with the good. Seek peace and pursue it. Yeah, you're a peacemaker. You're a peacemaker. Can you pursue it? Can you seek face? Seek the seek peace. Seek peace or seek his face. Seek peace. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. You know, his eyes, his ear, attentive to the righteous. They hear, God hear their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Yeah, God against the, those who evil. I think Mr. Putin, then the Lord Almighty God, against his evil behavior. And everybody pray to God, Lord, would you remove this man Putin from his office, his, his uh, position? You pray. And then this is scripture say that to cut off the memory of them from the earth, certainly cut off the evil man. Seventeen righteous cry out, and the Lord he hears them. When you cry out, yeah, can you cry out as your righteous man? And the Lord God hears your cry, and he delivers them from all their troubles. God deliver all, deliver you from all your troubles. Can you say amen? It's okay, you can have some troubles and hardship and difficulties. But most important, God will deliver you. Amen? Amen. You don't need to remain in trouble all the time. No, God will deliver you. This is a promise of God. Yeah? God will deliver them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the broken heart. And then even God not despise the broken spirit. When David committed the sins, he wrote down the uh, Psalm 51. God not rejected a broken heart and, and then contrite the uh, spirit. Yeah. He not 
despise them. God will hear them. And a very interesting scripture, verse 19, O righteous man, <clears throat> yeah, you and me, righteous man may have many troubles. You like it or not? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> For me, I, I have many troubles. <laughs> a righteous man may have many troubles. Why? Why have many troubles? Satan is not that happy with you and me. Therefore, you have many troubles. But, but the Lord delivers him from them all. You see, all. Can you say amen? amen. Yeah. God promised with you. The Lord God delivers you from them all. Yeah, even you have many troubles. God delivers you from all your troubles. This is a good news, wonderful news. And He protect all His bonds. It's actually when Jesus died on the cross. And this is a scripture: The Lord Almighty God protect the bonds of Jesus. The Lord God protect His bonds. None, one of them will be broken. Do you know that Roman soldiers have broken the legs one by one? But he saw Jesus already died. He didn't broken the leg. Why? Fulfilled the promise of God. Fulfilled the Old Testament. None of his bones will be broken. What the Bible said. Evil will slay the wicked. The force of righteous will be condemned. The Lord will redeem his servant. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. God will protect you. You don't need to be condemned by anybody. Why? Because Lord God protect you who takes refuge in Christ Jesus. This morning, let us learn the fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord, yeah? Is a is a great blessing, yeah. Those who fear Him, like nothing. Fear the Lord God, like nothing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Fear the Lord, you His saint. For those who fear Him, like nothing. And I will teach you the fear of the Lord, my children. And dear Heavenly Father, give us your I mean, fear of the Lord. You can put the fear of the Lord in our heart. This fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We respect you, you honor you, 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 you glorify your name because you fear God. Because we fear God, we don't commit the sins. We fear the Lord. In the same time, God intervene in our life because we fear God. You deliver us, you protect us, uh, we uh, lack nothing because we fear the Lord Almighty God. Dear Heavenly Father, give us your grace and your mercy. We will fear you all the days of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Sweden on 16 to 21st of uh, January. And next month also mission to Israel from 13 to 21st of February next month. Thank you. God bless you. Happy New Year once again. Be blessed.